morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman's back with you again uh, this morning. And we're going to use, we're going to try to catch some at first with this little quarter ounce spoon, just bumping with one spoon, just to show you how you can make them jokers bite uh, with that one spoon this morning. Hey, we're going to see what happens. <clears throat> Drop it to the bottom and see if we can get something stirred up. Oh, late. Monticello. Sun's shining pretty hard this morning. It's still pretty bright. And uh, we're going to try to drop it down here and see if we can catch a couple. Bumping the bottom, the old fashioned way. When I bump the bottom, I don't just jerk it up and down all the way, all the time, seeing. I, uh, it does one hit it already. Look at that. Third jerk. Uh, I twitch it and I bring it up five foot and, and, and bump it. Then I'll drop it back down. One spoon this morning, bumping the bottom. A lot of people do that. It's the old, old timey fashion. I used to do it all the time. Uh, I just don't do it that much no more because I like to catch two or three at a time. But uh, hey, it's an effective way to catch white perch. And uh, right now, the smaller the spoon, I think the better for the white perch. Uh, something saw a saw falling little quarter ounce I got on eight pound test line and a little swivel above it and we get twitching it what I'll do is I'll let it at the bottom and I'll twitch it a couple times on the bottom if one don't bite it I'll pull it up and, and come up real high and when I get up real high I kind of twitch it back down is what I try to do kind of twitch it let it fall twitch it let it fall there he is see that that's what you do a lot of times you can catch some nice bass like this that's a small little perch but uh, a lot of times you can catch nice bass like that, just twitching it and let it fall. We got bright sunshine this morning. I'm trying to get the doggone boat turned around where it won't be in the sun so bad. And the wind's blowing out the east, so it's going to put the camera right in the sun if I don't watch myself. But hey, already got another. They bite that little spoon now. Todd's little spoon, they love it. It's a little silver on lead color on the edges and silver tape on it and they do like it and that's what we're going to do for a little bit this morning then i'm going back to three rig i like to catch them three at a time but i'm going to show you you can catch them one at a time if you don't do want to do the three rig you catch them one at a time uh we had a good day yesterday it took a while you catch a few and they quit catch a few and they quit uh hopefully they'll stay biting longer today when you get on them but usually after you catch a couple of them, they get out of here. They won't allow you to sit there and kill them like they used to. But, uh, hey, we loving life. Let's, let's see if we can drum some in here. That drumming does work. Yeah. Oh, he hit it. We'll probably end up catching a nice bass like that. Uh-oh, he done flipped my spoon. Them old bass loves this thing, but the only problem with this plug, it's got a real small treble hook on it. The only thing that concerns me with the bass, uh-oh, I need to retie that so I can feel it. I'm broke off. Ever so often, you need to retie. No doubt about that. Or you'll lose that spoon. I hadn't retied in a while, and you see what just happened. But uh, we're going to tie it back again right quick and get back at it. Lake Monticello, thanks to all the comments last night. If you want to buy a t-shirt, go to stevecummelander.com. I got a man wanting to know how to buy a t-shirt. Well, it's a link at the end of my show. Also, you can click on the link uh, uh, or you can go to stevecummelander.com. Either way. It's easy. Go to my store, use PayPal. If you can't do that, uh, email me and I'll give you my address and, and uh, tell me what you want and I'll tell you how much. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. We'll do it the old-fashioned way.
Probably a good thing I checked that spoon because I'd have lost that spoon. All right, let's drop it back out, see if we can get another one going. Lake Monticello, loving life. Hey, we uh, we had a good time yesterday. The only thing about it, I tried to catch some crappies and I didn't catch but two. Uh, you know, I didn't show but one of them, but I didn't catch but two crappies. I didn't fish for them long and I didn't start fishing for them until about lunch. It's hard not to come fish for these perch. But uh, we might fish for crappies a little bit longer today if the, if the wind ain't so bad. The wind was really bad yesterday. They don't look like it's gonna be as bad. These fish don't look like they stirred up as much neither. So we might have a hard time making a video today. Don't know. Hey yeah, hey yeah. Oh, he nailed it. That's a nice. That's a that might be a bad. That's a nice. One. Uh, what we got there? We might have a bass there. We might have a bass there. We might have a bass. I believe we got a large mouth. Yeah, we got a large mouth. Humming a nice, whoa, Lord. Good one. Good thing I retired. That's a good one. Huh? That's a good one. He's gonna come up and spit it out and show us the world what's gonna happen. He'll try. He's gonna try. If he don't, it'll be unusual. He digging? What? Oh my, he digging. He digging. Look at that sucker. What in the world? Yes, large mouth. Look at him. Look at him. Told you them old large mouth hit that thing. Look at him. He swallowed it too, buddy. Look at that. Come off in the in the doggone uh, net. What? Look at that. Man, that's some good eating right there too. About a three pound, two and a half, three pound large mouth fillets. I know you people, them bass people don't believe in that. Listen, the old fisherman keeps his fish. I will throw back some bass, but I'm gonna keep that one. That's a nice one right there. And I got some friends that like it. So we're gonna keep some of them. Drop it to the bottom. Hey, I told you we'd probably catch a bass on that spoon. They like that spoon. They like that spoon. Catch a lot more bass just with spoon by itself, twitching. A lot more. A soft dropping spoon. Alright, let's reset our dag on the tray. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Might get another bass in here. Might get another bass. Sometimes you pull it up by four or five foot and twitch it. They like that right there, you get one. That's what happened, but it's a little, these are little fish. They're fun to catch, but they're just little. Like Lake Murray fish, Lake Murray perch. Now don't get me wrong, there's some big perch in Lake Murray, but it seems like they're always smaller to me. Unless you get dead one at a time, catch them real deep, 60 foot of water out there, clear water, them's usually bigger perch. You start messing with them perch, 20, 25 foot. If you're not up the river, if you're in the clear water, them small perch. <coughs> Lake Murray, you got to find them big ones in deep water. And, they, and the problem is, that and uh, them suckers out in that clear water in Lake Murray and Johns Creek, they won't menace. There's some big ones in there, but they won't menace. You got to almost buy menace to catch them, unless they're really hot. They're really feeding on shad. You can catch them on the gut shrimp good in the dead ones, just like I do over here. But if they ain't feeding on shad, shoot. They don't want to bite. These old bass, a lot of times, this time of year, hit it way up, buffing. They'll come up and hit it way up, buffing. But a real big bass, I doubt that these hooks gonna hold in. They're just too little. Now I got some bigger spoons up here. They, they don't seem to be wanting them bigger spoons right now. They want the little ones. Now yesterday I had a lot of gull diving activity. It ain't as much today. That means fish ain't feeding the day like they were yesterday. But we're gonna move. We're gonna try to get back on some more fish. And uh, y'all bear with me. I'm gonna throw this bass back right quick. Throw this bass back right quick. But he's a nice one. Hey, 
I love a nice bath. Come in here, boy. You swim around like crazy. Come in here, I'm gonna let you go. You doggone rascal. <clears throat> you see him? He's a nice one. Hey, about two and a half, maybe. I tell you, they thick. They thick bass over here. About two and a half. We're gonna chunk them back over here. We're gonna chunk them back over here. Come on, boy. All right, well, thank you. And we're gonna move and I get back. Folks, old fisherman not hung into a nice one with the old little spoon. Let's see what he is. What he is. He's a good one, though, I can tell you that. He's a good one. He's a good one. Probably a catfish. Yep. Yeah. Got us a doggone catfish on that little tiny spoon. That little tiny spoon will catch anything. I'll tell you right now is what it is, catfish. Ain't no huge one, but it's a catfish. That little spoon will catch them all. I'm telling you, Todd's a little spoon. Got a little blue. Come here, blue. Come in here, blue. Come in here to daddy. Old blue. Hey, old blue. Look at that. Got loving old blue. Come here, baby. I'm gonna let you go. I don't need you. Old blue. Hey, look at him. What the old fish we just caught? Huh? Doggone blue. Come on, boy. He swallowed that little spoon, too, buddy. He swallowed it down to his guzzle. If there's such thing as a guzzle, I ain't got it yet, either. Buddy, he is at the bottom of his throat. Hey, about a two, two pound, two and a half pound blue cat. Look at him. Look at that. That's a nice one, ain't it? We're gonna let him go. Go on. We're gonna let him go. Get him a little uh, towel up here. We're gonna let him go. Let's drop it down, see if we can catch another one. We moved, and uh, I ain't seeing the perch that I've been seeing. I don't know, we might have an off day with the perch. It's a real calm day, there's no wind. But that old catfish crushed it, and I caught a bass now a catfish, threw the bass back. Uh, we decided we didn't want the bass, so before I, when I went to move, I threw the bass back, and uh, hey, we moved over here and, we, and caught us a catfish, and threw him back. See if we can catch another fish. 35 foot of water, and I'm just twitching this little spoon. And I'm telling you, sucker will catch catfish, crappies, bass, and perch. It'll catch them all. That little spoon will. They like it. And they like it just twitching. The catfish kind of like it at a 45, they're kind of twitching it right off the bottom, like a crippled shad. But we haven't got on so far any perch much. I'm sure they, we, they just a matter of getting on the right spot. But so far, we haven't got on many perch. It's kind of concerning me, but it happens like that sometimes with sleek weather like this, sleek calm. We went from windy yesterday to slick calm today, is what we went. But sometimes slick calm and sunshine makes deep water fishing better. Just gotta get the right place. We gotta get where they're at. And it's a possibility we gotta drum them in. Drum a couple in, see what happens. Let's drum a couple in. We're gonna have to go to the shrimp in a minute, see what happens with that. I want to play with this bumping spoon a little bit, and that's what we're doing. Quarter ounce spoon. See if we can drum something up, get something stirred up with the beating of the boat. Hey, hey, he nailed it. He nailed it. I believe that's a perch. Drum, drum in the boat. I'll stir him up to catch him. There's no question. My hooks are all. My hooks are kind of looking funny. 
Like they need some work done on them. I might get them. Drop it down. Beat the boat. What we can do. They're not really damn boy he nailed it. I missed him. I tell you, they want that little spoon now. You got to twitch it up funny that you got to bring it up and kind of play with it a little bit before you take it like that right there. See that? That little small twitch. He nailed it. He nailed it. Small twitch. That's a nice fish too. A jumbo magnum perch, what that is. Look at that. Jumbo magnum. Hey, them jumbo magnum to hit that dog on spawn. Prove that. Drop it back down till we catch another jumbo magnum, and you got to love it. Drop it to the bottom with a big boy line. And I will say that again. Folks, I got to confess something. I've been holding off. I didn't want to confess, but Lake Murray, about a month ago, I was out in the big water school fishing, and it was rough. And I decided I was going to move, and uh, and uh, and I stood up on the nose of that boat to pull that trolling motor up, and a wave hit that boat from the side, and it knocked me off balance. And people, I fell in the lake. I fell in the lake, had my controls on me. Uh, had my wallet on me, didn't have my phone on me, thank goodness, and uh, I fell in. And I said, whoa, what am I going to do now? Well, I put my foot on the trolling motor, tried to come up, and, and, it, and it pulled it all the way down to the bottom, and it was too far down for me to get in the leverage. So I come over here and grabbed a hold of the boat right here and pulled myself in like a young man. So, hey, I still get in the boat. If I'd had a life jacket on, I probably couldn't have gotten in the boat. I'd have probably had to go around the back and rode the, troll, uh, the big motor up with the power tilt and trim. But I, I proved to myself I can get back in the boat, and that was a good thing. Wasn't a good thing to fall out, but I just lost my balance. In a hurry. And I know all you people, you need a life jacket, but I'm telling you right now, if I'd have had a life jacket, bulky life jacket on, I couldn't have pulled myself back in that boat. I'd have had to go around the back. Well, it was warm weather. But it can happen, even in this boat. I never fell out John boat before. So here I am with a bigger boat and I fell out, all because of that trolling motor. That trolling motor is bad design. You got to stand right up on the nose of that thing to pull it up and lock it down. Well, most of them with the foot control and all that's got a rope and you pull it in and you ain't got to put yourself jeopardy up. Now they make them with an the automatic uh, lowering device on it and, and raising device. But uh, they cost a lot of money. I just hadn't bought one of them. But uh, I sure fell out of my boat, and that <laughs> it was kind of scary. It was another boat seen me fall out, and they watched my show. They come over to help me. But uh, but uh, hey, it was a uh, it was an experience. I fell out of my bass boat very similar one time, but I slipped off the nose of it. I didn't have that uh, rubberized grip on the nose of it, and I slipped. Uh, and it was in the winter, but I got back in that one. I got back in the same way on that one. And I was a lot younger then. But I sure fell out this boat. All because of that trolling motor. So now, if the water's real rough, I got a life jacket up under the nose that I put on before I raise that dog on trolling motor. But like I say, I'd have to float around to the back of the boat and get on the motor, power trim myself up, I reckon. Because there's a power trim button on the motor back there. Hey, we got a couple of fish under there. I see them. We get them to bite. We get them to bite. There he is. There he is. Oh, my. There he is. Hey, see if we can get a nothing. See if we can get a nothing. There goes a nothing. Hey, that's at least two. That might be three. <coughs> that might be three. 
right there might be three. Oh yeah, we got three. We got three jumbo magnum. Look at that, three of them at a time. Hey, you got to love it. Got the big one on the doggone, you got to love it jig. That's what I like. I like making my own jig. Look at the size of that doggone perk. That's a whopper. Hey, that right there ain't no bad one. Ain't no bad one at all. Getting up to the filet purse now. Now that right there's a little bit small, but he's a keeper. Hey, he's a keeper. Fry whole size. Drop back down to the bottom where the big boys lie. Beat the boat. Maybe we get on something now. Maybe let's start biting. Lake Monticello, loving life. Hey, yeah. Hey, just reeling it up, he come to it. See if we can get a nut. Let him swim around down there. Uh oh, got off. Doggone, that happens a lot. Trying to get the second one, the third one, and lose the first one. Happens a lot. Hey, he's hitting it. They want it reeling up. That's the way they want it. That's the way they want it. Back to the bottom. Get a nut. Uh oh, didn't get one that time. That ain't good. Take, catch a couple and they quit every time. You got to stir these suckers up. Hey, he bumped it. He bumped it. Come on, boys. Don't quit now. Doggone rascals. I tell you, you cannot keep these fish under you. <coughs> can't do it. Save your life, can't do it. It's been a tough day. They ain't really want to participate. Oh, there's one. Hey, there's one. See if we can get another to hit it. Hey, we might get three on this one. Hey, we might get three on this one. I see old Looney's back looking around here. Hey, maybe I found a few. Maybe I found a few. Look at that, three at a time. How about that? Three at a time. All right. Three at a time. Two little ones and one knife. All right. Let's see if we can drop it down and catch some more. Lake Monticello. About the middle of the day and we have struggled. We probably got 25, 30 fish, that's it. Been tough. Catch a couple here, a couple there, I've moved all over the place. I sent a couple gulls diving here, so I decided to come over here and I believe I got on something. I don't know what size they are, but I believe I got on something. Look at that. Huh, look at that. Oh my, look at that. Hey, the old fisherman. Might have finally got on a couple fish. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, two at a time, and they're pretty good up too. Got one on the. Uh, in fact, I got. I don't have the. Uh, you got the love it jig on. I've been trying it all day. So I put the gut shrimp on. I've caught a couple on the gut shrimp. So hey, we're trying. You got to change around when they don't bite something. Might be a color. I don't know, but we got to drop it back down. See if we get them done. We got them going here now. Hey, maybe we found something. Maybe we found something. Kind of mark where we at, cause hey, I hadn't fished in here a long time. I hadn't fished in here a long time. Uh oh, didn't get one that time. They'll probably quit. That's what they usually do. That's what they usually do. Catch a couple. Uh oh, there's one. Hey, there's one. There's one. See if we get a nut. That's two. Hey, maybe we catch a couple here. That's two. I think. No, we ain't got but one. Thought I had two. Hey, we ain't got but one. Boy, he got hooked a funny way, too. Messed my jig up. What are you going to do?
What are you gonna mess my jig up? He got it in a funny way. Oh, Lord. Can't get him out. Can't get him out. Come on, boy. Ain't got time for this. We got the fish. We got the fish. Get out of there, boy. Get out of there. Oh, Lord, get back down while they're there. We got to make hay while it's ready. Okay, drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Boy, that made a mess. Beat the boat a little bit. It can't hurt. Thirty-five foot is what we got. I'm sure they're gonna move because they don't stay. Catch a couple and they go. That's what they do. They leave him, buddy. That was bite. Oh the Lord, I missed him. He hit it. Okay, there's another bite. Little ones. Little ones. Come on, give me a bigger one than that. Come on, baby. Little one. Ain't big enough to pull the darn jig around. Baby. Need one bigger than that. I'll back down. To the bottom. See if we can get a nut. Alright. See if we get another. Uh oh. Yeah. We got a few down there, but ain't a lot of them. We probably need to take it off spot lock and try to pull this thing. I don't know what hit it right then. Hey, they like it pulling there a lot of times. A lot of times. They won't hit it till it goes to pull it. Uh-oh. Got a mess on my line here. All right. We can get them to bite it. They still some there. There you go. There you go. Do that come around a circle swing, we'll get them going. That come around a circle swing, we'll get them, son. When they don't want to bite, they'll bite in that come around a circle swing. Look at that. Two at a time. They're not the monsters, but two at a time. Mediocre size. Man, yeah, he's bigger than, uh-oh, he bit my dog going to get up and all. Rascal, and I'm about to put. One thing you got to do, you got to put a little pack over that uh, gut shrimp. You got to slide it in a, a pack with some moisture in it. This, in this case, it's a, it's a pack with some jig, little tiny jig strips in it. And, uh, and you seal it back up. If you don't do that, you got nothing next time you come. You got nothing. You seal it up. The next time you come, your gut shrimp will still be, it won't be dried up. So you got to put the little uh, baggies over your gut shrimp. Look, little, little, uh, little lesson from the old fisherman if you're going to deal with a gut shrimp. Because them suckers, Will mess your, will dry up, and you, then you can't even, you can't even cut them off. So you got to do that every time uh, you go fishing. When you leave to go home, you got to cover them up. And you got to love it, jig. Ain't you don't have that problem. But uh, hey, we caught a few, nothing great, and I'll show them to you. See in there. That's what we got. Cliff, thank you for being with the old fish.